two days to go, are you expecting a, a busy 24, 48 hours? Um, I don't know about busy, we've certainly got some inquiries out there and um, we feel that we do need to strengthen our squad in, in numbers and, and quality if we can. Um, so, you know, everybody leaves their decisions sometimes to the, to the last minute and uh, while there's a few hours left always, there's always some business to be done. So we're, we're just, you know, I'm keeping my phone close to me and uh, you know, waiting for people to get back to me really on inquiries we've made. And then with the loan situation, you, you've got a little bit more leeway than perhaps you have sometimes in the past. There's a couple of spaces there that can be filled. Yeah, there is. I mean, you're only allowed five loans in your squad on a, on a, any, in any game. Um, however, sometimes it's one of your loans that uh, is injured. Um, and so, you know, it may be that we might have to take six loans. I mean, I'm trying to get in people that are um, contract players, but that's not easy in January, as you can imagine. The good ones people don't want to lose. and. Um, and the good ones that people don't mind losing have got quite a few clubs after them, so uh, it might have to be uh, a loan. But anyway, that's you know the business is not finished yet. But at the, at the moment, um, I can't tell you exactly. And in terms of potential, um, uh, anybody leaving the, uh, the club, more rumours about Ed Upson this week. Any any truth in that? Yeah, there's always rumours at this stage. A lot of people leave. Um, Little inquiries, you know, and, and often um, they they do that to five or six different players and teams. Um, but until you get a, a firm offer come through, then you you just treat everything as an, an inquiry. So no potential departures at the moment, but it's it well, we've had no firm offers. Yeah. There's been you know talk about certain players, one or two players that names have cropped up, but um, you know until we get a firm offer. It really is only still hearsay and inquiry. Yeah, and, and especially given the loan situation, to lose a permanent player and bring in a loan is going to cause you potentially issues. So you, whether you'd say yes or no at this stage is a, a difficult decision to make. Yeah, yeah, but you've got to make them decisions. You know, we, we're in a we're in a situation at this football club where um, and other football clubs are in this situation that are around us in the table. You know, it's it's very difficult to re-sign your players that are in contract because most of those players are already at the highest point of their wages for this football club in the championship. So we could only offer them the same, um, give or take a couple of pounds, but certainly not you know, making it uh, worthwhile anyone signing straight away. Um, and also, they lose money when you're in this position if they get relegated. So nobody's going to re-sign right now because that we don't know what division we're going to be in. And all the other clubs that are in our position have that same same problem and that's just a, um, a fact of life at this stage. Have you um, have you recovered from Tuesday night? Is it, uh, I'd imagine it was, a, was not much of a fun drive back from the East Midlands. No, it wasn't, and um, especially when the motorways are closed and all that, you know, as most people would have found out about that M42, it's a disgraceful situation that, by the way, just a, <laughs> it is, <laughs> it's a disgraceful dis situation that people can just shut roads and you only know about it when you get there, and uh, and they always do it at night, and it's always the, the late night people that travel that, 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 that get it, and uh, it's, it's sad that. I'd like to know who's responsible for that, <laughs> because it mucks a lot of people up, all right? Uh, so I was more annoyed about that, or just as annoyed about that. Back to the game, that's me political broadcast over. Um, um, forget the Rhodes Open party. Um, I was disappointed, of course I was, listen, you know, if a great big hole could have opened up, I would have, you know, I would have quite happily have dived into it as they scored that last minute winner. but. We didn't start very well either, you know, we didn't keep the ball as much as we, we, we would like. Um, Derby do keep the ball. Um, however, our tactics worked that we it was trying to get the ball into the two forwards as early as possible and get them to cause a problem and dribble and drive at them and John done that, scored his goal, Ishmael done that, scored his goal. And at that point you would hope to be good enough to keep the ball long enough that you're not going to let in three goals and unfortunately we, we didn't keep the ball long enough and 
for uh, for half an hour of that second half, we was two one. We had several discussions on the line, me, Terry and Darren trying to work out do we take a forward off and bring a midfielder on, who do we bring on, do we put another forward on, do we tell them to lump it forward, you know, but at that they were getting more and more um, runs of attacks, if you like, with their quality and their way of, of doing things and we just had to try and handle it individually and, and man for man make sure that they they didn't beat us man to man but unfortunately they did in that last uh, you know 10 minutes 20 minutes and uh, we made the change with all good intentions and uh, unfortunately it it, uh, it didn't come off for us and in hindsight who knows if we'd have made a different change but you got to make a decision we decided to put in another midfielder because at that time we was camped in our you know, and they were getting a lot of ball just outside the box. So we thought another midfield player might just help us. Um, but then you have to hit your lone striker with the ball when you win it. And we certainly wasn't doing that. And uh, we certainly wasn't keeping it for long enough. And, and eventually they wore us down. And eventually they got their two opportunities late on, which, as you say, was a gutter for all of us. But, you know, it, was a, it would have been a bonus anyway, going away at the derby. And, uh, we did get ourselves 2-0 up, uh, we did play well in the previous away game at Birmingham and uh, I know we had Southampton in between but that's a different kettle of fish again. So you know, we, we, we're, not, we're, we're not out of it, we're definitely not out of it. And do you know what we've got to do, we've got to make sure that Hewish Park has a fantastic February because we've got four home games in February and that's going to be... The, the crux of our season. These next four home games, after Nottingham Forest, we've got four home games on the trot. We've got to, you know, we've got to have a fab February we have, and we can do. We need everyone now. If anyone wants to keep us in the Championship, I swear to you, we've got to get full houses here for the next four home games. You know, uh, I don't know how we're going to do it, how we're going to do it as a club, or our supporters are going to do it financially and that. I'm just saying that these four games, and then we got an away game, then we got another two home games. So the six home games out of eight are going to be vital to our season, honestly. And uh, so if you want to get behind us, it's now. Don't leave it too late for the last six games of the season. Um, now's the time that the, leads, the lads need your support and we've got to do everything we can to pick up wins and points in February, now. I hope we pick a couple up at the weekend. And as you mentioned, the, the performance at Birmingham, you know, it, away at Southampton, is say slightly different, but a good portion of the match at Derby, you can go there with a little bit of form behind you. Well, you can, and, and players have, have just got to show that mental toughness. They got to show that, um, you know, that getting on the ball. They got to be confident. They got to be assured. Um, but they got to be a little bit. We got to be a little bit more arrogant when we get the ball, because we we do very well getting the ball back. We work hard. The boys work unbelievably hard to win the ball back. But we have to work even harder if we keep giving it away all the time. And and you know it, they've all got the ability to pass the ball. And um, um, and we said that Southampton, Derby, Nottingham Forest are going to be difficult games because they play a possession game, which is very very good. And um, you know, and we have got to win it back, but we mustn't give it back as quickly as we did against Derby. Obviously, no Ishmael and uh, James are seem ready to come back in. Who? Hater. Yeah, um, yeah, Ishmael can't play. So yeah, we've got James Hater, we've got Morgan. Uh, there's a couple of other things that may be on the horizon. You know, we're, we're just waiting with those. But um, you know, Keith and Moore, we thought had a problem with his foot, but he's he's come through okay. You know, he's had a little scan and he's okay now so he's he's available um, so you know we've got to go there and believe in ourselves like we uh, like we did at Southampton early on and like we did at Derby uh, early on certainly for a period anyway and uh, you know the last game we played against Nottingham Forest we won the game so it's not impossible um, Nottingham <coughs> Forest will, will have a score to settle of course but uh, they've got other fish to fry as well, they're up there in fourth or fifth place or something, you know, and they're up there on merit, credit to them, and uh, it will be a very similar game to the Derby game, where they have a possession game that if you let them have it and you, and you watch them play, they're going to be very, very good.